Hi, I'm Julie Comstock with at least 10 tips for sewing on paper. Okay, tip number one is to use a dedicated needle. When you sew on paper, it'll make your needle dull. So if you just use the same one on paper and then save your good ones for fabric, that works really well for me. Um, another tip is to always keep your paper upright. You don't ever want to sew on the back side of your paper. It won't look good. Um, and then another tip is as you get started, and when you finish, don't try and lock stitch. It will just make your paper tear. I'll show you how to lock your thread so that it won't come undone in just a little bit. Okay, so the next tip is don't sew through adhesive. So to adhere this paper, I'm really going to use the stitching to keep it down. So I can just put a little bit of adhesive like that just so that it's not going to move around while I'm sewing. Okay, now I've run a metallic gold thread through the top needle. And then I just have a plain white, because it's not going to show anyway, in my bobbin. And the first stitch I'm going to do is a decorative stitch. On my sewing machine, I have all of these decorative stitches right here. And I can set this to any one of them. But I'm just going to stay on my zigzag stitch, set it to be about as wide as it will go, to a four right here. Now I can come up a little bit tighter, but you don't want to go too tight on um, stitching because if it gets too close together, the, the holes in the paper will, will be too close and the paper will tear. Okay, so here we go. Okay, so you can see how that looks, and I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. I find it's actually easier to sew on paper than on fabric, because paper is stiff, it doesn't move around. Okay, I've put together a little bit more of my layout, and now I'm going to show you guys how to turn corners and go around the square, but I want to do this with a straight stitch, so I set my stitch guide back to zero. I think on paper a long stitch looks the best. So I go usually keep it all the way down at four for a full stitch length. And I am just gonna sew. Right on this edge. Now when I get to the corner, be quiet. I just lift up my foot, turn my paper, drop it back down, and keep sewing. Oh, darn it. This is really annoying when it happens on paper because when your thread breaks, because unlike fabric, paper leaves holes and they don't go away. They don't go back together again. So we're gonna try and line up those holes again when we start to re-sew it. So I'm gonna come right back to where I was and see if I can get the needle to go right into one of my previous holes. And now, if I'm perfectly coordinated and steady, they will all line up. It's okay if it doesn't work. I think something actually goes over the top right there in the end anyway. But, I think we did it. How does it look, Eric? Action. <laughs> so I've made a lot of mistakes. You know, this is how I roll. Okay, so I wanted this one to go underneath, but I forgot. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut off that end, and then I'm going to butt it up. So mark where I'm cutting that off. It's like it never happened. Okay, now I've made some paper ruffles and I think these are really cute but they're also really hard to stick down because there's a lot of pull. The tape, you know, is just not quite strong enough. But if you ever have something that's hard to stick down, just sew it down. So we're just gonna Fit this to start right under here. And then I'm going to go in the direction that my pleats fold. So I'm not fighting against my pleats. So see, my pleats go this way. So I'm going to sew that same direction. 
and sew that down. And don't worry about being too perfect. This um, isn't going to be exactly straight anyway. This edge never looks good for me because the paper is folded unevenly. And so what I'll usually do is either go back with another piece of paper or put another trim over the top. And on mm. this one, I'm going to put this right along like that. Okay, here's our layout so far, guys. Now for the next part, this is like advanced sewing on paper. <laughs> well, the first part is really easy. Um, I've run two threads through my top machine. You can run them through, thread them through the needle just like it's one thread. It's really pretty. I've used a metallic and a pink. You can use the same thread, the same color thread, and it'll just give you a heavier weight, which looks a lot more hand done or use two different colors. I really love to add metallic thread, but my needle's a little small. I hope my thread doesn't break again. You can do this with all of the stitches I've shown before, your straight stitch, your zigzag stitch. But what I'm gonna do is take off my standard foot and replace it with a darning foot. So I hook that on just like that. And then these are your feed dogs. They're what make feed the paper or the fabric through, I'm going to lower them down so that they're not catching my paper at all because then I can freehand sew on my layout. So then I put my little butterfly down and it looks like she's flown on this crazy little path. Go. Okay, to make sure that your thread doesn't come undone, what you do is come on the back side, pull this up, and you can see my gold thread coming through there. Pull it through all the way to the back side. So now both the threads are on the back. Take a little bit of tape and just stick it over the top. And then trim your threads off and you're done. And do that to all of them. 